Welcome to Smart and Easy English. My name is Ben. I'm American and a native speaker from California. If you want to speak English natively and naturally, you're in the right place. You have found your channel. So be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks. In this video, we're going to be teaching you phrasal verbs. This is part two, and it's taught by one of our great instructors here at Smart and Easy English, Sam. You might know him from the phrasal verbs part one video. Well, he's back with part two, and it's going to be amazing. So without further ado, I'll hand the mic over to Sam. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great day and welcome to Smart and Easy English. Today, we're going to talk about some phrasal verbs that we discussed before and some new phrasal verbs that we haven't discussed before. If you didn't have a chance to watch the previous phrasal verbs video, please consider watching it so that you will be able to understand the subject completely. So let's start with the first phrasal verb, which is turn on. So I'm sure you remember from the previous video, turn on means to activate something. If somebody says, could you turn on the TV? That means, could you activate the TV so that we can watch? the TV. However, we have another meaning in here. For example, you have a friend and he stole your wallet. Well, it is really a disappointing situation because you guys were friends once and now things are changing and you'll get angry with them. So, uh, what you're going to do is that you will turn on him and say, why did you do that? I really trusted you and you're not my friend anymore. So, turn on means suddenly attack someone physically or verbally after something bad happens. Let's make another example. After the party, he turned on her with cold savagery. So now we know the first meaning of turn on means to activate something, turn on TV, turn on your phone or something like that. Now we do have the second meaning, which is attacking someone physically or verbally. Let's move on to the next phrasal verb. Turn off. We also discussed the meaning of turn off, means to deactivate something. You should turn off your phones while you're in a movie theater or while you're in a seminar. Well, this is the first meaning. And now we're going to talk about the second meaning of turn off. Okay. Imagine you meet someone for the first time, but you figured out that you, he is very offensive. The way he speaks, the way he behaves you. So, uh, you don't want to talk to him anymore and you might want to stay away from him. So, you have a feeling of staying away from him. In this case... Uh, you might want to say, his attitude really turned me off. So I don't want to talk to him anymore, I guess. So yes, turn off here means to cause someone to lose interest. Well, let's make another example. Yeah, after she betrayed me, she really turned me off. So I don't want to talk to her anymore. Well, the big difference between turn on and turn off is that when we talk about turn on, you get angry and you show your anger by attacking someone physically or verbally. But when it comes to turn off, you might also get angry, but 
you want to stay away from the one who bothers you. Let's continue with the next phrasal verb, which is turn up. Okay, let's look about the first meaning as we discussed in the previous phrasal verb video. Turn up means to, let's say, increase the volume of something. Could you turn up the TV? Or could you turn up your MP3 player? And it goes like that. Well, let's talk about the second meaning of turn up. Okay, if I say, I lost my valuable necklace and I haven't been finding it for a very long while. It's been, it's been many years. However, when I was checking my chest, it turned up suddenly in a box. Yes, exactly. So, turn up means to be found by chance after being lost. Let's make another example. After a long search, all the missing documents had turned up at last. So that means you lost something, but it turned up in a place you weren't expecting. Let's talk about the next phrasal verb, turn down. As you remember, turn down means to reduce the volume. Could you turn down the TV? Because I'm trying to concentrate here. Okay, you can turn down your phone if you're listening to a podcast or something like this. Well, we do have another meaning for turn down. Okay, imagine I have a job interview and I go to the interview, but some things went wrong and they said, uh, we're sorry, but uh, we cannot uh, work together. I hope everything will be the best for you. And they just say goodbye. So in this case, I can say to my friend, you know what happened? I was turned down by the company's human resources, so I couldn't get the job. I'm sorry. Well, exactly. Turn down means reject something, offered or proposed. For example, if you don't want to go to the party, you can turn down this invitation. Let's make another example. His novel was turned down by publisher. So, let's say his book was rejected by a publisher. That's the same meaning. Let's continue with the next phrasal verb, which is take up. Actually, we haven't discussed this phrasal verb in the previous phrasal verb video. Okay, if I say I took up video making last month, well, that means I started, exactly, video making last month. So, take up means to start an activity. Let's make another example. I took up table tennis at the age of nine. Or I took up volleyball at the age of 12. So that means if you take up something, you start something. Let's continue with the next phrasal verb, which is take down. Okay, like other phrasal verbs, take down has several meanings and we're going to talk about one of the meanings. Okay, for example, if I say... 
I take down the address so that I will not forget where to go. Or if I say, I like taking down every single word when I listen to a podcast so that I can improve my English skills like that. Or we can also say, I took down every single sentence that my teacher said in the classroom. Well, exactly. Take down in here means to write down spoken words. Okay, let's make another example. I like taking down my contacts emails in my notebook instead of saving them into my smartphone. Maybe you're taking down whatever I say while watching this video. Let's continue with the next one, which is makeup. Actually, makeup has also a lot of meanings, but we're going to talk about one of them. Okay, imagine your friend says that I ate 20 hamburgers in 10 minutes. Okay, what I'm going to say is that I think my friend is not telling the truth. He is making up a story. Yes, exactly. Make up means to invent a story or plans. Let's make another example. I didn't want to go to the party, so I made up something that I got a headache and they believed it. Sometimes you might want to make up stories in order to stay away from an occasion. Well, let's talk about the last phrasal verb. But before that, let's talk about another structure. So, as you remember, phrasal verbs are the combination of a verb and a preposition. Okay, in this case, we have a verb and two prepositions, one after another. Okay. Let's have a look at the last phrasal verb, which is put up with. Okay, sometimes life can be unbearable and we can say, I can't put up with life anymore. Or you don't like your friends anymore in the school. I can't put up with my friends anymore in the school. Or you can even say, I can't put up with school anymore. I can't put up with my family anymore. Sometimes, let's say, things are going wrong and it's perfectly natural. So, exactly, put up with means to tolerate or endure something. Let's make another example. Imagine your friend is making fun of you all the time and you can't tolerate it anymore. Now, you might want to say, I can't put up with this behavior anymore. If you do that again, I don't want to talk to you anymore. So, uh, let's recap. What we discussed today was that we discussed turn on means like sudden attack someone physically or verbally. Uh, you may turn on someone. And turn off, it looks like turn on. But turn off exactly means to stay away from something, like go to cause someone to lose interest. You lose your interest in someone. So when we talk about turn up, you find something by chance, which has been lost for, for a long time. And we also talked about turn down, which is to reject something. And then we talked about take up. Like, I took up horse riding yesterday means you start the activity of horse riding yesterday. And we talked about take down means to write down spoken words usually. Yeah. And we talked about makeup. So if you get late, you might make up a story to your boss. He might leave you or he mightn't. 
And finally, we talked about a different type of phrasal verb, consists of two prepositions, put out with, like, I can't put out with this job anymore, so I want to find another job. Okay, everyone, that's the end of the video. All right, thank you so much, Sam, for that great lesson on phrasal verbs. I hope you all enjoyed that, and if you want more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment so we know that you want more. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and see you all in the next video.